when COVID hit, it was as if, just a wild thing, it was as if Satan came to the government who wants to stop all advancement of Christianity and said, boy, Mr. Prime Minister, have I got a tool for you to stop the gospel from spreading. It's called coronavirus. And I'm telling you, regulations that were harsh were more burdensome on Christians. But things like the Sikhs and the Hindus, they could go to their temples and worship. But the Christians couldn't gather. If they did, and a pastor was found leading his group, automatic 15 days in jail. But the church uh, looked to God and God gave creativity in the midst of the changes happening there and the passion he gave to his people in the midst of these changes there in Punjab remained the same. They just went about things in a different way. Numerous pastors would go into the buildings where they would normally have churches. They would turn their loudspeakers on. They'd lock the door and by themselves in there would start singing worship songs and they would preach the word and the loudspeakers would go throughout the village. So um, there were occasions when police would bound on the door thinking they're going to break up this meeting and arrest the pastor and they find that he's in there alone. And, and, and there's actually been at least one occasion where the policeman patted him on the back and said, that was pretty smart or something like that. So <laughs> there was, we've done plenty of door-to-door -door ministry. But now it's like a tidal wave flooding the area with door-to-door -door ministry. All of the pastors, all of the workers going door-to-door -door, and we've seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of salvations this year and baptism after baptism from going door-to-door -door and ministering one-on-one. -on -one. Typically a Punjabi door has behind it a multi-generational family. Uh, from babies to great-grandparents and uh, They all live together. They support one another. They encourage one another. They help the older when they're sick and um, It's 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 quite an impressive thing And so you go door-to-door -door, and if you end up being invited in that house, you may be talking to seven eight twelve people and uh, God was releasing his power in these door-to-door -door things people would be healed delivered from demons and uh, So it was a great success no church meetings? Well, the pastors went to the families in their homes. They have a short church service of 10 people, multi-generational, sweet worship, deep teaching where instead of like in the formal service, there were questions that came and discussion. And so the teaching of the word caused them to grow deeper. All backfired on the enemy's purposes. Wonderful, wonderful thing.